The U.S. is also dealing with a monster storm that's leaving a trail of death and destruction in its wake. At least four people were killed in one state. Laura has weakened to a tropical storm, but it roared onto the Louisiana shoreline overnight as one of the most powerful storms ever to hit the U.S. The Category 4 hurricane packed winds up to 240 kilometers an hour. It tore off roofs, knocked down trees, and cut power to hundreds of thousands of residents. Mike Armstrong reports. Hurricane Laura slammed ashore, making landfall in western Louisiana around 1 a.m. And look at that damage. It was packing a punch, heavy rain and strong winds. This was shot by a storm chaser just after the eye of the hurricane passed. Definitely some sort of mezzo vortice either just slammed me. Laura hit land with sustained winds of more than 160 kilometers an hour. Gusts were even stronger. At least two National Weather Service radar stations were knocked offline. One was destroyed. They're built to withstand winds up to 215 kilometers an hour. This Weather Network reporter had a close call. Showered with glass being torn off a building. In the darkness, it was hard to evaluate the damage. In the daylight, it was obvious. This is what we're seeing. You see some down power lines, some down trees as well. Laura left a wide trail of destruction as it headed north. The flooding was actually less severe than predicted, but those winds were not. Some areas were devastated, though the governor of Texas says his state made out better than expected considering the size and strength of the hurricane. We did dodge a bullet. Now, that of course doesn't help those whose homes have been hit. We got a little bit lucky. It was very big, it was very powerful, but it passed quickly. President Trump says he'll visit the region over the weekend, but for now the focus on the ground is on opening up roads and restoring power. Mandatory evacuation orders are being lifted, though some people weren't able to get out before the storm hit. I got bumped in the head and I'm trying to like get back home. That's it. Yeah. That's so it's it. It's been a rough morning. It has. And, you know, um, I'm just glad that we are all alive. That's it. Now, there are shelters for people who can't make it home, but authorities aren't using gyms or convention centers due to concerns over COVID-19. People are being given hotel rooms instead. Another concern is a fire in Westlake, Louisiana. A Canadian-owned chemical plant is sending up dangerous smoke. People in the area are being told not to go outside. Mike Armstrong, Global News. NBC's Chris Pallone is on the ground in Lafayette tonight. Chris, what's the scene like there after such an incredibly powerful storm? Robin, I think the most remarkable thing is, is that the most intense part of this storm probably blew through this part of the state 14 hours ago, and we haven't seen rain in several hours. The sun is trying to peek through, but we are still getting really strong wind gusts here, sometimes even sustained winds that are pretty high. Just goes to show that as this storm right now is uh, well on its way into Arkansas and points northward, that it's just so large. We're still in the back half of it. Uh, 14 hours later. Is there a sense that life can return to normal soon, mind you, under a pandemic? Yeah, it's a bad, well, normal is relative, right? Uh, so we're still in the pandemic, but um, in parts of the state, absolutely, it's really remarkable. This is the most powerful hurricane ever to hit the state of Louisiana. And if you listen to the governors of Texas and Louisiana, both of them seem to make it sound like it could have been much worse uh, where this storm struck uh, mostly focused on Louisiana. There are certainly very, very damaged parts of the state. To be sure, there will be millions, if not billions of dollars worth of damage. Uh, there's a lot of power out, uh, 800,000 people, Texas, Louisiana and Arkansas now, mostly here in Louisiana. It will take days, if not weeks in some places to get that power back on. But you certainly do feel a palpable sense of you know, th this could have been worse. Chris Pallone in Louisiana. Thanks, Chris.